Hello guys, I Arvind Mayapatra. I am back with another uh, interesting SQL question. So, so today's question is basically we have an employee uh, table. In that one employee ID is a column. We have uh, different employee IDs are there. So here we have to find out the missing employee IDs. So for better understanding, I just copied the data to the Excel. So let's jump into the data. So this is the employee um, ID table. So here we have uh, different employee IDs are mentioned. So what we have to do, we have to find out the missing employee IDs from this column. So, so here 101. So in between 100 and 102, missing is 101. So likewise, uh, in between the 102 to 104, 103 is missing. So likewise, we have to find out those employee IDs are missing in from that employee ID column. So the, the logic is how we will get this missing employee IDs from the column. So we have to generate a sequence of number between minimum employee ID and maximum employee ID. So, so this is the employee um, we have gen so, so this is the employee id uh, where we have generated which will be in between the minimum and maximum employee id so here if we will join this table with this table we will do the left outer join and to get the missing ids so let's jump into the sql server management studio to get it so, basically this is the table and here we will here we have to declare two variable to hold the minimum and maximum value so let's declare it declare maximum sequence declare maximum sequence the its integer and we will declare this for the minimum minimum sequence this is also integer so let's run it and now what we will do now we will hold we will we'll hold the minimum and maximum uh, employee id from the table Select maximum of employee ID from the table. So, likewise, we have to generate the minimum employee ID. I will just change this to minimum I'll run it then then now we have to generate a number of sequence in between the minimum value and maximum value so to to generate it we have to create a CTE. So I'll just create a CTE and select the minimum value from the employee table union all ID plus one from the CT underscore A where the ID where the ID is less than where the ID is less than the maximum sequence. 
so basically this is the anchor query so basically this is the anchor query so sorry so basically it will run it will initially it will it will run first uh, then the the value will pass to this city to hold it and in the, in the in, during the iteration it will it will pass to the recursive query and it will iterate until the time the condition will meet recursive query so now i will close it and i will run it ct underscore a so i will just uh, run it oh okay we have to terminate the the statement here then only it will run so now we are able to successfully generate the sequence between the maximum between the minimum employee id and the maximum employee id so you can see 126 is the maximum and 100 is the minimum so now we have to join now we have to join this ct underscore a with this uh, input table we will do the left join and um, to get the skipped number skipped employee id so basically the whatever the like left join is equal to left outer join in the sequel so a dot id i'll just give a better alias missing employee id missing employee id from cd we'll do left outer join left outer join with the main table that is tbl employee one and on on ct dot id is equal to tbl employee dot employee id where this tbl employee id is null because we have to find out the skip the value so that's the reason we are mentioning we'll do the left join but wherever this employee uh, input table employee id is null we, ha we have to find out these numbers this employee id is basically so let's run it so these are the missing employee ids thank you for watching my video please do like subscribe and click the bell icon to get the new video Live your life, live your dream.